Welcome, friends. I'm so glad you joined me today as we meditate on one of the most beloved and well-known passages in the entire Bible, Psalm 23. The timeless truths in this psalm provide deep comfort, hope, and security for every one of us. Psalm 23 opens with the beautiful declaration, The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. This powerful metaphor of God as our caring, providing shepherd would have deeply resonated with David's original audience, a community of shepherds and sheepherders. It's such a personal, intimate image. A shepherd dedicates his full attention to the needs of his flock. He guides, nourishes, protects, and lays down his life for the sheep. This psalm highlights the Lord's profound care and attentiveness towards us as his precious sheep. Over the next 10 minutes, we will unpack the priceless promises in Psalm 23 verse by verse. My prayer is that these living words of Scripture take root deeply in your heart and fill you with comfort and confidence in every season of life. Let's dive in. The Lord is my shepherd. We begin with the powerful assertion, The Lord is my shepherd. What glorious truth! The God of the universe, the creator of all things, chooses to be our personal shepherd. The Lord, with all His supreme might and authority, lowers Himself to tenderly care for us. When we acknowledge God as our shepherd, we surrender to His lordship and guidance over our lives. We place ourselves under His protective watch. We find rest in His provision. Even when circumstances seem uncertain, we can say with confidence, The Lord is my shepherd. I am known and loved by the King of Kings. I shall not want. The verse continues, I shall not want. Because the Lord is our shepherd, we lack nothing. As our benevolent provider, God promises to supply all our needs according to His riches in Christ Jesus. Under a human shepherd's care, the sheep do not worry where their food or water will come from. They can lie down in green pastures with full bellies. Just so, we can trust our divine shepherd to lead us to refreshing streams and bountiful provision. Even when we walk through times of scarcity, we do not ultimately want for anything because God Himself fills the deepest needs of our soul. As Psalm 34 declares, those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Our Good Shepherd cares for us. He makes me lie down in green pastures. Verse 2 paints a serene picture. He makes me lie down in green pastures. What comfort this brings. Our busy, fast-paced lives often leave us depleted. The green pastures represent the rest and renewal God offers from life's pressures and demands. As our shepherd, God knows we need periods of restoration away from the drain and noise of routine. He invites us to regularly pause and rediscover the nourishment of His presence. Some practical ways we can lie down in God's green pastures are enjoying quiet mornings with Scripture, taking prayerful walks outside, spending time worshiping during our commute, retreating on a spiritual retreat. Don't neglect this vital Sabbath rest for your soul. Listen for the shepherd's gentle voice bidding you, Come aside and be renewed. He leads me beside still waters. The next phrase in verse 2 says, he leads me besides still waters. In the dry Middle East climate, access to calm, clean water was essential for the sheep's survival. Only a caring shepherd would lead his flock to the best water sources. Likewise, our divine shepherd guides us to the refreshing springs of living water we so desperately need in the parched seasons of life. God leads us to places of peace and stillness for watering our souls. Jesus said in John 7, Whoever believes in me will have rivers of living water flowing from within them. As we follow our shepherd, he blesses us with the Holy Spirit who satisfies our thirst like nothing else can. Stay close to the shepherd today and let him lead you to still waters. He restores my soul. Verse 3 continues with the phrase, He restores my soul. This paints a beautiful word picture of renewal. During seasons of weariness or grief, our soul, our innermost being, can become depleted and weary. But God revives and nourishes us, restoring our souls to wholeness. 
Like a master artisan repairing a valuable painting, God attentively and lovingly restores all the damaged places within us. He renews faded colors and brings his light to any dark corners. What patient care the Good Shepherd shows in mending our brokenness. Let him speak of restoration over you today. He guides me in paths of righteousness. Next, we're told, He guides me in paths of righteousness for His name's sake. As sheep, we are prone to wander and stray down dangerous paths, but God directs us onto righteous trails that lead to life and hope. He knows the way we should go. The shepherd guides our thoughts, words, and actions according to His good, pleasing, and perfect will. His wisdom steers us clear of sin and destruction. Even when we stray, He disciplines in love to keep us on the right path. We can trust His leadership. As we follow closely, He guides us into righteousness. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. In verse 4, we're given these somber but hopeful words. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. There are times when our path leads through pain, hardship, and heartache, valleys covered in dark shadows. But we do not have to dread evil even in difficult terrain because our shepherd promises to walk beside us. God does not always prevent trials, but he will help us navigate through by his presence, comfort, and wisdom. These words affirm a precious truth. We never suffer alone. The shepherd who leads us to valleys also leads us through valleys. Stay near to him, especially when the ground feels shaky beneath your feet. He walks with you. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Verse 4 continues, Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. A shepherd's rod was used to ward off predators, while the staff gently guided wandering sheep. Both brought protection and peace of mind. Through the powerful scriptures and the Holy Spirit, God comforts, corrects, and leads us. Even when enemies and dangers press in, we find security near the shepherd and his strong staff. Listen for his gentle whispers guiding your next step. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. What an intriguing verse this is. It paints a scene where God prepares an abundant feast and invites us to dine at His table surrounded by enemies on all sides. Yet we partake without fear. This verse emphasizes that even in the midst of hardship and opposition, God provides good things for His children. His lavish blessings overflow in every season when we sit at His table. The enemy's aim may be to steal your joy and appetite for life, but keep feasting on the shepherd's rich truths and unconditional love. He prepares nourishment and celebration for your soul, no matter the circumstances. Come and dine. You anoint my head with oil. In verse 5 we read, You anoint my head with oil. In ancient times, oil was poured on a guest's head at feasts as an honor. The oil refreshed and smoothed dry skin. Likewise, our shepherd anoints us with the oil of his spirit, the Holy Spirit. This infilling and empowerment spurs us on, equipping us for the road ahead. The shepherd's oil brings joy, peace, hope, and new life. Allow him to saturate you with the Spirit's flow daily. His anointing oil will nurture your soul and equip you for whatever you face. You are filled and sealed by God Himself. My cup overflows. The final verse offers this beautiful promise, My cup overflows. Our gracious shepherd fills our cup to not just the brim but to overflowing. His abundant grace and blessings leave us astonished. Even in seasons of loss and uncertainty as we draw close to the shepherd, he miraculously overfills our emptiness with himself. We can never be filled by earthly things the way God fills and satisfies our longing souls. Stay amazed by His goodness. The Lord is with me, always. In closing, we claim the priceless truth that the Lord is with us always, no matter what valleys we walk through. He is our constant companion, guide, defender, healer, and friend. The shepherd who gave his life for us will never abandon his flock. 
We can rest in His presence and loving care whether the sun is shining or clouds roll in. Even when we stumble and stray, He patiently restores us. What a profoundly personal and steadfast shepherd we have in our Lord. Psalm 23 is scripture to treasure. May its truths sink deeply into your spirit today. Share in the comments how God has shepherded you through difficult seasons. Let's encourage each other and give thanks.